My name's Cindy. I'm the teen librarian at the White Oak Library District at the Romeo Mill Branch. And I'm here with my wonderful co-worker, Ariel. Hello! My name is Ariel. I'm the adult services specialist downstairs in the Romeoville branch. And today we have an oatmeal foot scrub DIY project for you at home. And what's great about this is many of the ingredients are ingredients you already have at your own house. And it's super easy. You're going to love it. Enjoy, guys! Alright, so I'm just going to go through all of the ingredients as well as the instructions for this DIY foot scrub project. So first you have all the directions for how you're going to construct this DIY project. You're going to have a bowl to mix everything in. You have oatmeal, water in a cup. You have baking soda, Epsom salts. You have a one tablespoon measuring item and then just a regular spoon to mix everything together. All right, so we're going to mix all the ingredients into the bowl first. So we're going to start off with one teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of oatmeal. Oh, I lost an oat. <laughs> and then two tablespoons of our lavender Epsom salt. All right, and now that you have all the ingredients in, you're gonna mix it around first, just to make sure that the baking soda, the Epsom salts, and the oats get coated properly. that's mixed. So the instructions ask for about two to three tablespoons of water, but we're going to start off with one and just see how that is. You can put in up to three tablespoons of water, but I would start off with one first and then add as you need. Because you want to make sure that you're creating a paste rather than something really soggy. I love these ingredients, especially the lavender Epsom salts. They smell so good. Oatmeal is amazing for any DIY foot or face projects, especially because it has antimicrobial agents in it and it helps with excess oil. It's just a really great ingredient. So I put one in and I think I want to put in just a little bit more. So I'm going to do about half a tablespoon. I'm going to continue to mix a little bit. So then you should end up with a paste like this. It's a little bit runny, but not too runny. And it smells incredible. And as you let it sit, it will thicken up a little bit as well. Hey, thank you for joining us for our foot scrub. We're super excited to hear about how it worked at home. Please drop comments and like this video and subscribe to our channel. I hope you guys enjoy everything. Let us know how you like it. Bye. Bye.